welcome back it's crowned gamer back with another video and we are going to get all the um white trinity uh detex so yeah let's talk to him it's fine okay first we're gonna want to talk to sid now since we finished all of action all the enemies stats have been boosted so it's a good thing we collected most of what we could then Power wild, it's a power wild. See, it's way harder to kill. Way harder to kill. See, way harder to kill. You can't kill it fast like you could before. Okay, let's get out of here. Sid, I need to go back to Hollow Bastion. I don't think I can let you do that, kid. The Heartless are multiplying by the minute. They'd eat your ship up. Then what can we do? Simple. Go around them instead of through. Install a new navigation gummy and take a route. A new gummy from where? The secret waterway, where I came here nine years ago. I stored it there in case I ever needed it. Never thought a kid would be the one to use it. Okay, we need to go to the secret waterway. Okay. Okay, we're, we're gonna pause, we're gonna go to items, we're gonna go to abilities, we're gonna go to... We don't need a critical plus anymore. We're gonna go get... Uh... Probably Lucky Strike. Yeah. Okay. Oh, awesome. I have Lucky Strike on, but none of them are giving me any thing. I want crystals. Okay. Okay, we got a shiny crystal. Run. And a withered relic. Okay. Equipment. Finally, Donald has boosted stats. There's Kyrie. Okay. The first White Trinity Detect is going to be right there. And there's another Ori Calcum. What a mysterious mural. It's almost hypnotizing. There's so something about this musty place. There's something about this musty place. Okay, am I supposed to get the navigation gummy first? I think I need to go get it first. Do I need to touch it? I think... Okay. Receive Navi Gummy. Okay. Let's go back and join the others. We should rest up. Okay. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. oh. Your grandma's story, right? 
That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kairi. Now, it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... When I turned into a Heartless, you saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was, the darkness almost swallowed me. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That's it! Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go! You can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kairi, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore, right? I can't help? You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry. I will. Promise? Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. <laughs> that, that, that was really sweet. We just obtained the Oath Keeper. Oath Keeper Trophy. Not until I see Sora. Riku, can you hear me? I'll be there soon. I have the other Keyblade. The one that belongs to this world. I've been trying to get through to you, but the darkness in your heart kept me away. Who are you? What's happened to me? Your heart won the battle against darkness, but it was too late for your body. That's why you're here. In this place of darkness where hearts are gathered. The door of darkness will open soon, but it's a door we can't enter. It has to be closed from both sides. To do this, you need two keys and two hearts. Maybe you're here for the same reason I am. Maybe it was fate. Fate, huh? You seem to know everything, don't you? Then tell me. Are Thora and Kairi okay? Don't you feel the echoes of their hearts? You already know the answer. Look inside your own heart. Okay. Okay, we rescued the gummy. Don't ever forget wherever you go, I am always with you. Okay, we got that, so now we can head back to Sid. Okay, I need to get equipment. I need to go to Olympia, Oathkeeper, ooh. 
And that's fine. It's, it's only one less strength. Now we have a lot more MP. Okay, we got sh another shiny crystal. I love okay uh, dream drop distance I love and I'm saying I prefer Traverse Town and dream drop distance a lot more I'll tell you why I love uh, dream drop distance in a moment when I'm not so busy with uh, the storyline you found it <laughs> all right I'll go fix up your ship Hall set, you can get going anytime. Kid, I gotta say, I wish you didn't have to face all this danger. Okay, so it's installed it now, and now we can start going to other worlds again. Okay. Okay, let's go to Gummy Ship. There's a new warp hole near Traverse Town. I wonder where it leads. Hmm, some weird power is emanating from the worlds. Might be worth revisiting some places again. That's just what I'm going to do. Okay, we're gonna go to Queen's Castle. Wonderland is kind of bland. Okay, I'm gonna say why I love Dream Drop Distance so much. I love Dream Drop Distance because I just feel like it's nostalgic for me. I don't know why. Like, there's certain games that have such a big nostalgic feeling. Um, even though Kingdom Hearts 1 is the first game, this game just doesn't give me the nostalgic feeling for the franchise of Kingdom Hearts. It just doesn't. It's a great game and all, but it doesn't give me the nostalgic. When I think Kingdom Hearts, I don't think of many scenes from this except the ending. Or, except when, uh, uh, Sora says my friends are my power. I don't think of many scenes. The main game I think of when I think of, uh, playing Kingdom Hearts is Kingdom Hearts 2. Most every scene I think of comes from Kingdom Hearts 2. And a lot comes from Dream Drop Distance, especially the end of Dream Drop Distance. The end of Dream Drop Distance is amazing. And, um, I... Traverse Town is my favorite. The, the Traverse Town and Dream Drop Distance is my favorite version of Traverse Town probably ever. I just love it a lot because there's more to, more places to go, and I know a lot of you might not be fans of it, but I am sure such a fan of uh, Flow Motion. It's like one of my favorite moves ever. I love Flow Motion so much. Like I can't describe how much I love Flow Motion, you guys. It's so fun to like move and jump around and. Even though it takes, it's so tedious leveling up in um, Dream Drop Distance, I gotta say it's some of my favorite, uh, favorite games to level up in because the music is so darn good in it. Like the music is impeccable. It's amazing. The music is, uh, oh my gosh. Mu the music in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Dream Drop Distance is my favorite, some of my favorite music in the whole entire series. I just love it so much. But there's my rant on why I love Dream Drop Distance so much, and I lo and I love Symphony of Sorcery. It's one of my favorite worlds ever. But yeah, just thought I would rant about that. Okay, we're gonna enter through this painting, and the second White Trinity is gonna be right there. Okay, we got Lady Luck. Let's see if that's stronger. 
Ooh, it, it is stronger with magic. But I think that's gonna be... I don't think that's gonna be fine. Okay. Okay, we got Lady Luck. Let's get out of here. And let's go to the third. Okay. Okay, the third white trinity can be found in Olympus Coliseum. Okay, that brings me to something I want to say. Um, out of the three uh, Kingdom Hearts games, the three numbered titles, my favorite version of Olympus Coliseum is probably got to be the third one. And I, I just love it so much. Not because of the graphics, because it's a lot more fun. There's the third white trinity. I also it also trouble troubling me to pick between. Um, oh, Donald's got a new equipment finally. Uh, oh, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not no, it's fine. Okay. Okay, now we want to go find the fourth trinity, which can be easily found in the deep jungle. What I was saying is, it was a hard pick for me to pick between the Olympus Coliseum in 2 or 3. I'm not a fan of the Olympus Coliseum in this game because all it is is tournaments. And I like to do a little more than just tournaments. I like to have fun. The tournaments to me are not fun, they're time consuming. Sure, they gain a lot of XP, but I can gain XP in a lot more better places like Halloween Town or Hollow Bastion. So I don't really care for it as much as some people do. The only cool part of the Olympus Coliseum in this game is fighting Sephiroth. Man, it's... Oh man, that's amazing. Love the Sephiroth battle. It's extremely hard, but it's extremely doable. Okay, don't go over there. I need, I need to kind of get you. I don't want to fall. Oh man, these aren't generating any luck. I have Lucky Strike on, don't I? Oh my gosh, even with Lucky Strike, this isn't proving lucky at all. Still not proving lucky. Okay. I'm waiting for the moment I get a crystal from these guys. Oh man, I thought it was a crystal, almost. Please tell me this is gonna be a crystal. Okay. I'm gonna slide down here. Okay. I've got two shiny crystals so far, so that's proving so good. Oh, where did he go? Oh, not this again. Come on. I think all of them have Lucky Strike on, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, let's go on this side. Can this one generate enough? 
Lux? Nope. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh, this should... Okay, we got Duracane Blast. I'm guessing we're at level 50 now. I wish I wish these would gain more luck than not. I swear. Oh man, it didn't. Okay. Oh, we're at level 51. Okay. Hurricane Blast from an aerial combo. Ooh. Ooh. Do I have anything that's not very important? Stun Impact used to be important. I never used Guard. I'm removing it. Like, I've never used Guard once. Another Relic Relic. Didn't really ask for it. But, okay. Oh my gosh. Shiny crystals, please. Come on. None of those literally did shiny crystals. That's annoying. Okay. These better do items, I swear. Oh! Finally, a power crystal! And another power crystal. Perfect. Okay. We're almost to the fourth white trinity. Okay, the fourth white trinity is all the way up here. Cavern of Hearts. And there's the fourth white trinity. Another Ori Calcum. Okay. Can I get another power crystal? I'm gonna just hit one more. If I don't get it, I'm not I'm gonna not be lucky. Okay, I don't care. I got two power crystals. That's fine. For now. Oh, but every time I see one, I might like, think I'm gonna waste a chance to get a power crystal later on. And I don't like missing chances. Come on. See? See? Power crystal. Come 
Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Not important. Not important. Not important. Not important. Just need to head go all the way back to the cave. Camp. Okay, we're gonna go to Agarba. Fifth White Trinity can be found right here after I take care of these guys. Stat boost increase. There's the fifth white trinity. Ifrit belt. Okay, I feel like that's something big. Let me see. Oh, it raises strength. Not a fan of it though. Uh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to the hall and leave. Okay. The sixth white trinity can be found in Monstro. So let's go over there. Okay, we're in Monster now, so let's start heading to where the White Trinity would be. I believe I said this was the sixth one, so... Let's head over there. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, there it is. Come on. I do not need any more blaze shards. I literally have uh, so many shards and gems. It's ridiculous. I don't need any more shards and gems at all. Huh! <laughs> 
I can't reach them. Okay. Come on. Okay, finally we can get the sixth light trinity right here. And probably dark matter. Okay. So now we need to go find the seventh light trinity. Let's go to chamber one. Okay, the seventh white trinity is at in a, it's in Atlantica. Speaking of Atlantica, people really hate the world Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2, but I have an extremely unpopular opinion that might surprise some of you Kingdom Hearts fans. I love Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, it's ridiculous. I love it a lot. It's not my favorite world, but I love it a lot because I love musicals and stuff like that. Speaking of The Little Mermaid, my uh, high school is doing the little a little mermaid uh the musical for our all school musical so yeah anyway i really like uh music and i and i like the last song i can't remember it but like the last song you sing it's a, like an optional song so you don't have to do it but it's like the last song that you would do in that world that's my favorite one city fun yeah i guys i understand the hate but yeah okay we're in here. Now we just need to get rid of those. Okay. Man. Please don't tell me this is the moment. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the seventh white trinity. And that is a Ori Calcum, as I suspected. Okay, I'm gonna swim this way. And we are gonna go get the eighth white trinity detect. Oh, my God. 
okay on our way to the eighth trinity mark Shiny crystal. enemies in here is ridiculous. Why are there this many? Please tell me you're done. Okay, we have 42 more until we're at 52. Okay, the 8th white trinity is in here. Okay, good. It's the easy one. Oh, they go down faster. They go down faster. Max HP. Perfect. Okay. HP. There's our eighth white trinity detect. And that brings us to our Dalmatian 67, 68, 69, which is our 93rd Dalmatian set. So we're almost complete. Let's check the journal for the trusty Dalmatians. 93, wow, they're almost all full. We need two more sets. We need characters, Heartless, okay, Dark Ball, Defender, Vern, Withered. Okay, characters, Sora. Riku, Kairi, Donald, Goofy, Beast, Mala okay, Dragon, and some Chronicles, Thora's Story, Anthem Report, Anthem Report 5. Okay, they're almost all complete. Our final one can be collected in Neverland for this video, not the final white to detect, the final one needed for this video, which would be the ninth white trinity detect. Or ninth white trinity detect. I just call it detect because it sounds more cool.
Okay, let's go to Neverland. Okay, let's go to Ship Cabin. And then the White Trinity can be found. Just ignore those. Okay. White Trinity can be found all the way up here. Okay. Go all the way up here. Wait. Then we can lower ourselves down without being seen. How can they see me? Okay. Wait. Okay, let's lower ourselves down. Okay, we can get the ninth white trinity detect. Right there. And those are our next set of Dalmatians. 43, 44, and 45. So now we have 96 Dalmatians, which means we only need one more set to complete it. Guys, one more set. Okay, and then we only have one more thing to do in this video, and that is... Where is it? A save. We're gonna go to Traverse Town. We're gonna select world, and we are going to open the passageway to Hollow Bastion. But first, I feel like we need to do something. No, it's fine. Let's just get going. Okay, this is the longest route in the whole entire game, I believe, for gummy ship missions. This is the longest taking route. So, yeah. There's a glitch to quit it, but I feel like... Oh, I'm, ar I'm already almost done. And this time, you actually want to go straight through the warp hole. Trippy. And as you see, the song gets dark because we are heading into awful territory. Close to it, at least. Once we start lining a car off the wall, or a wall kind of thing, it, the wall needs to be on the left. If it's on the right, that means we are going to the wrong location. So make sure the wall is on the left of you. I'll show you what wall I'm talking about. Because it's kind of random, and sometimes the wall will show up on the right side of you, which isn't very bad if you want to be getting to the right place on your first try. Oh my 
my gosh, are you kidding? Wait. Oh darn it, we actually, I actually have to get through this. Okay, let's try this again. Show you the wall is talking about it's very tedious if you like accidentally like get killed in your gummy ship because then you have to redo it all which sucks since this is the longest route in the game This is not enough health. Okay, I hate this part so much. Come on, come on. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're about to come to the wall soon, so I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so see, for example, the wall's on the right side. That is bad. I'm pretty sure. I'll show you when we get there. I think it's bad, I'm not sure. Probably, maybe not. Cause I remember me not getting to my thing I wanted to before. It may actually be good though. So let's just wait and see. This looks pretty cool. See, I feel like I'm not getting to the right spot. Okay. Well, I feel like we opened it up. I feel like we opened it up. Okay, let me try getting to the warp one more time. And then we can talk about logistics. Okay. Now if I do select world... 
Okay, well, it's fine anyway. I'll do it in the next. Next, next, next time. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Please share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And like I always say, make sure to check the description, because I have timestamps for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!